Hello everyone, my name is Vipul Jain and in this video, I am going to showcase that how you can check user permission in Dataverse table in Power Apps. So generally the scenario is that suppose the current logged in user does not have the permission on your data source. And in this case, we are considering the data source is uh, Dataverse table. So if a user don't have the access or the required access, maybe the create, read, update, or delete permissions, or the required access on your Dataverse table, then user might get these kind of errors on the Power Apps screen. So either they will get this message, sorry, there, there has been a disconnect, which also talks about or uh, tells that it's a forbidden kind of error or a permission related error because they cannot edit anything in the environment, given environment or in the Power Apps in your custom app, which you have developed, they will get the error that uh, there is an error when trying to retrieve the data from the network. So to overcome these kind of errors, there is a particular function which definitely you can use in Power Apps and you can give a graceful message to your end users instead of these kind of errors, which definitely will not be understood by the end user, probably if they're not technical enough to understand it. And at the same time, these errors are not graceful. So uh, they actually land the users in no man's land. So that is why there is a, a solution for this problem. There is a function called data source info, which is available in Power Apps, which definitely we can use in Power Apps to show the graceful message and to check whether the current user or the current logged in user in Power Apps have the sufficient privileges or permission in your data source. In this case, in this video, I am using a Dataverse table. So let's see this in action. So I'm just navigating to the Power Apps environment. You see here, uh, this is the Power Apps uh, environment. Here I have created a table with the name device order. So this is the uh, table name which currently I am using in this particular uh, demo. This device order table, uh, there are different different columns which I have created in this particular table. Now in Power Apps, what you can do is there is a function as I said called data source info. So I will uh, walk you through first of all the official documentation of data source info function. So this is the data source info function in Power Apps. So basically what you can do is you can use the column level information to validate user input and provide immediate feedback to the user before using the patch function. This is very important that uh, before using any patch function, what you can do is you can check the user whether the particular user has sufficient permission on your data source. So that's what we are going to see in this demo today. So let's see this in action. So there is a screen which I have created in the Power App Studio and on this is screen on visible property. So you can see on visible property. I have created a collection. The collection name is collection of check permission. I have created a table here with two properties permission type and permission. Now in the permission, I am passing the uh, function, which is data source info. Now I am checking the different types of permission on my table or the data source. The data source is a data words table here, which is device order. So I'm checking create permission, delete permission, permission type is edit permission, edit permission or read permission. So permission type, I am giving the property as read permission, data source info dot read permission or data source info dot edit permission and in the permission property i am just checking the data source info on the device order whether there is a read permission or not so this i am doing on the on visible property of the uh, screen this particular screen in this screen i have added a gallery control in this gallery control i have just added a label on the label text property so this is the label on the label text property i am just using a switch statement and in the switch statement, I am just checking with the if statement, whether it will return true or false. Basically, it will return true or false if the user has permission. So, for example, I have used a switch statement to check the create permission. If the user has create permission, then I'm using the if statement. This will be the output. You have create permission on the data words table and so on. Similarly, for the delete permission, edit permission and read permission. So these are basically the if statements which I'm using in the inside the switch statement just to check whether the current logged in user has the permission on the data words table or not. So if I run this app, you see here, currently it is showing me the message, you have create permission on the device order table because the current logged in user is myself. My, I am currently logged in user, which, which is Vipul Chen. I am having the 
uh, permissions on this particular table to create, delete, edit, and read. So you can see this is the currently the message which is which is being shown because this is true because I have the permission. That's why this message is visible. Now for the other user, I have shared this app with other user as well. So if I show you the sharing of this app with whom this app is currently shared, so there is a user called Megan. Megan Bourbon, there is a user with whom this particular uh, app with the name Power Apps Crash Course, course has been shared. Now I will show you that when uh, Megan will log into this app, since the app is already shared with her, when she will log in on this app, what message or information she will get. So I am in a different browser now. I am just opening the app Power Apps Crash Course. I have just opened the app Power Apps Crash Course. Alright, I am logged in with the user you see here. The user is now Megan Bovin. I am logged in with a different user who is not having the permission on this table. I am just navigating to that particular screen and you see here that uh, what will happen that currently it will show you the message that you do not have the create permission, delete or edit permission or read permission. So this is the way using the data source info function you can definitely check the permissions or the or maybe the roles of your logged in user so that they can uh, get a graceful message that whether they have the uh, required access or permission to do some kind of operations on the data source which is in this case a dataverse table at the same time please remember that uh, earlier what used to happen is that we can define or grant different roles to the users in a dataverse or at the environment level so those could be for example earlier service reader service writer but now uh, there has been changes in those roles from microsoft these roles cannot be assigned to a user or team for example service writer service deleted service reader and definitely you cannot give the system administrator rights to all of your users so the best and the better way uh, as per me is to check the user permission on your data source for example a data was stable so that if they don't have the access they don't end up into a situation where they cannot do anything you can definitely check whether it's coming as a boolean true or false from data source info function and you can show them uh, any any particular graceful message so that's all in this video in this video i have shown you that how you can check the user permission in dataverse table in power apps that's all thank you